All right, welcome to another DaVinci Resolve tutorial. I am going to explain how cropping works in Fusion, but in this case, it is actually called masking in Fusion. Masking in Fusion does the same thing as cropping on the timeline. First of all, you have your nodes. You are working in a node-based environment and also a 3D environment. So the first node that you want to grab to make that effect is this rectangle right here it's actually a square symbol but that's what it's called and so you click and drag it onto this area okay and you will see this rectangle one node all right and it is very easy to have this affect your footage uh but first of all just press one on the keyboard while this node is selected, and then it will pop up on the viewer one. If you don't see it, it might be because it is not uh, selected and you didn't do that right. <laughs> or it could be because you have the single viewer mode on like that. And if you do, then click on this icon here with like the two rectangles and it says viewer, and then it will bring up viewer one as well. So in viewer one, you can see the rectangle on its own okay and what you can do is kind of get an idea of what it's doing so the white area is gonna be what you see the black area is what you do not see and that's the cropping mechanism that is going on here so you're basically cropping it in an inverted way or you're cropping it in a non inverted way right now it is inverted which is kind of like the opposite of what you see on here when I do this all right so to make it look like this what i can do i can check that off in the inspector when it is selected still and now i will see the inner portion of this rectangle so it's going to crop out the middle portion of this whole clip and i can kind of extend this out a little bit and so then i can connect this node to media in one and it will connect to this blue arrow that's the alpha channel and so then it'll do this like you see right here okay it's the same exact type of thing so i basically cropped it twice in the edit page and in the fusion page so it's very easy to really just connect it up to your footage and it makes the same effect so what you can also do in fusion that you cannot do in the timeline on this page right here is you can select that rectangle and then you can go to the corner radius parameter in the inspector and then when you slide that lever over over, it will round the edges as you can tell it rounds the edges so that it's all smooth and nice looking if that's what you prefer but you can also just like have it completely straight and have corners instead but that's a nice option the level here that parameter is the opacity and so when you drag this lever all the way to the left down to zero you don't see it at all and then if you drag it back up you can start to see it again so you could have it like fade in like halfway at like 0.5 percent or 50 percent and that's really nice if you want to blend it more into another piece of footage or something if you just want to blend it with something else what i can do here is uh, take off the control controls and then zoom in and you can see this line right here there's a hard uh, line and I can soften that edge if I want to and that's nice as well if you want to blend things more together and then what you can also do is extend the border width so when I increase this border width parameter which is below the soft edge what it does is it extends out that border like that so it basically gives you more space or you can decrease it and move the lever to the left and then it gives you less space it decreases that border width all right so the whole border all right will be changed this way and that can be cool as well you cannot do that on the edit page over here but what you can do is soften the edges in here if you want to but what you can also do in both is you can animate uh the width and height or whatever 
whatever parameter that you want to animate. So let's say I want to animate the width of this whole rectangle. I can do that. I can make keyframes and then I can kind of just add like a little animation of it, like revealing itself like this. And that's kind of cool for doing whatever that you have in mind. And you can do the same thing on the edit page. I did go over this in another video if you're curious. So go ahead and check that out. Uh, but it's nice that you have some options in the fusion page that you don't have in the edit page. And what you can also do is change the angle of this rectangle or square, whatever shape you have by moving that angle lever over. It's kind of like a scroll wheel. And that's really cool as well. So not only do you have this rectangle mask that you can turn into a square and turn that into a circle if you wanted to or an oval, but you do have a default circular mask called the ellipse and this guy is right next to the square icon all right and this can be any size and it's just a perfect circle so you can you know crop out someone's head or i could crop out this star if i wanted to anything that's round or just have a nice circular mask around something so that's a cool option as well and then i can also grab this polygon next to that circle and this allows me to draw any shape that I want. That is why this screen is black. It is because I can start drawing, okay, and then I can connect all the dots. So I create a triangle, and then that mask is created. All right. So you can do an, uh, you can do a pentagon or any shape at all, and then you can crop out anything in your footage. So I could draw a shape around this mountain and crop that out. Draw a nice shape around this star, or maybe there's like a person's head that I want to crop out, I can draw a shape around that. And so you get the idea. There's a lot more creativity with this Polygon 1 mask. And also, this one has Z rotation, Y rotation, and X rotation. So there's even more flexibility. This one is like a fake 3D space, so to speak. It can move in all of those different spaces in 3D. And then you can increase the size, which is cool. And then you can smoothen out the edges if you want, like that, and then create whatever curve that you are going for. And you can also add points if you want by clicking on the line and then adding a point to make the shape a little bit different. So there's many things that you can do in here. And I can go over this a little bit more thoroughly in a different video. But it's really cool how you have this polygon mask option to create any shape that you want. And so there you have it. It's pretty simple to use these nodes to mask out your footage in Fusion if you want to do it this way instead of on the timeline. It's a little bit complicated at first, but once you do it more and more, you'll get the hang of it. And uh, also what I did forget to mention is you can move it around freely like this by clicking on this square icon in the middle of those arrows, or you can click on the top arrow and this moves it up and down, or this right arrow which moves it to the right or to the left. All right, so I'm going to do a quick recap for you. First, you have this square slash rectangle uh, node that can mask out your footage. All right, you can get a nice crop with this square shape here and you can invert it or not invert it. You can rotate it. You can uh, round the edges of this. You can soften the edges to blend it in or change the opacity and fade it out or not see it at all for whatever reason but there's options to do things and then there's also this ellipse mask that is a perfect circle and then you can crop it out that way with with the circle shape instead of the square shape and it could look nicer and then you can also grab this polygon mask which allows you to make whatever shape that you want in the viewer one, you can make a triangle or whatever, and then you can mask it out like that. And then there's different options in here to rotate. You can rotate on the X axis or the Y axis or the Z axis, which uh, is basically the same axes in 3D space. And then what you can also do is increase the size of this 
and or you can make new points to make a different shape so there's a lot more creativity with this mask which i like a lot and so there you go that's how you can create different masks and crop out your footage a little bit differently in fusion than on the timeline all right so i hope you learned something today if you did awesome if you did not and or are confused about something that i went over you're like i didn't understand that part then be sure to ask me a question in the comment section down below i read all of my comments and i will answer to the best of my ability uh, if you have any friends or family that want to learn this software as well be sure to share this with them so that they can learn alongside you and uh, remember to click the like button down below and subscribe to the channel if you would like to support me so that i can make more of these tutorials in the future and without further ado i will see you guys next time Thank you.